Okay, so we are here in the state of Jalisco, Los Altos de Jalisco, where the tequila, the hard, uh, the land, the hard, where the tequila comes from. And I want to share with you guys a little bit of uh, the blue agave, looks like, like in real life. So we have one small one here. And the piña, which starts on the bottom right there, and we have a little bigger one. And it seems like we have a bigger one over here on this side. And I wanna share with you guys here because once this is cut off, these leaves are cut off and it becomes a piña. And the piña goes into an oven, an horno, where the gas squeeze in. Well, first of all, first it's gonna get baked. And second of all, after it's baked, they get pressed. And once they get pressed, the tequila, the juice comes out and goes into a process in the barrel. It could be a whiskey barrel, it could be bourbon barrel, like Bim Jim, Jack Daniel barrel, whichever they prefer to, to put it in. And the process starts and tequila starts um, fermenting and edging. So it could be a year and a half, it could be 10, 20, 30 years, who knows, whatever preferable, whatever quality it is. And we have so many different brands in the state of Jalisco, which Los Altos de Jalisco, we're in the location of right now in Quirino. Washuli La Sierra, La Sierrita, Jalisco. That's municipio of the Goyado. And I, like I said, I just want to share with you a little bit of this. So there you have it. So I have an idea of how it looks like. And I think it's a pretty unique experience that I just experienced that walking through this Amagay's Blue Agave. And, and that's it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Wine Talk with Andres. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And I will share with you something else with you about the tequila. So we're not going to be chatting just about wine, but also getting talking about tequilas, spirits. Okay. Thanks a lot. And thanks again for tuning in. Wine Talk with Andres.